In Los Angeles, you investigated a case outside of your legal jurisdiction. But you used your badge to pursue a personal vendetta against Senator Bracken, crossing the line and endangering the lives of others numerous times. Sir, that man was a murderer. You've withheld case information from superiors and flown in the face of authority whenever it suits you, not to mention your working relationship with Richard Castle. Tell me, Detective, how often have you let your personal feelings for your husband dictate your actions in pursuit of a suspect? Sir, that is unfair. I never let And him. when he went missing, you used your position to the great deal of the taxpayer's money to search for him, enlisting the aid of fellow detectives. And, well, you are infamous for being the inspiration for the fictional NYPD detective Nikki Heat, who spends more time on her back than she does pursuing killers. Detective Beckett, how do you expect to lead or even continue in your current job when it's clear you've exercised such poor judgment. Sir, if you would look at my record... We are looking at your record. You are not qualified for a captaincy, and in my opinion, you are not qualified to be a detective. Thank you, you can go. You're wrong, sir. Castle, it is one thing for you to follow me when we're in New York, but I am not a cop in LA. I don't have any authority or backup. I'll be your backup. Besides, going rogue is kind of my specialty. Yeah, but subtlety isn't. I'm not gonna get rid of you, am I? Okay, look. If we do this together, you have to promise me that we're gonna fly under the radar. Of course. Is there something going on here that I should know about? What do you mean? Beckett's not a killer, I know that. But she's gonna go down for this. It's open and shut, unless I can protect her. And I can't do that if I'm left in the dark. So if she's being set up, I need to know why. Sir, how much do you know about Beckett's mother's murder? It's a random stabbing, never solved. There's a lot more to it than that. Tell me everything. What? At Taggart set up roadblocks to stop and search every vehicle. We figured that the car that ran Castle into the ditch may be the same car he's in now. Okay, we get a description? Not yet, but CSU thinks a side marker glass up ahead came from a GM. Local PD's canvassing to see if anyone saw any vehicles leaving the area. What about Castle's cell phone? This provider says it's shut off. Contacted the FBI to see if it could be turned on remotely. It's a long shot, but you never know. What else? Kate, everything that can be done is being done. Espo, don't tell me that. I know that there are a lot of unanswered questions here, but you cannot stop looking for him. We'll follow every lead to the end. But once those leads dry up, we have to scale back our investigation. I will find Castle, with or without the FBI. I've noticed you've devoted resources to running a background check on Philip Bartlett and tracing license plates in Thailand. Uh, sir, I was following up on some new leads about Castle's disappearance. In connection to Chuck Norris? Yeah, it's complicated. Kate. I know how important this is to him, but these leads, are they solid? Or is Mr. Castle just grasping at straws? Yes, sir. Come on, Castle. Oh, uh, Captain Keith said the boys are going to Atlantic City. Yeah, I don't think she meant you. Actually, that's my call. You with them? Besides, Detective, I'm looking forward to seeing what you can do without him. It's only a few miles from where Emma was hit by that truck. Tax records show that there's a barn on the property. He must have held her there. It's private, in the middle of nowhere, uh, the perfect lonely place. Only I would never get a warrant. And if I searched it without one, then any evidence I would find would be inadmissible. Because you're a cop. But you're not. It would be trespassing. You would be breaking the law. But if you found something, and I know how much this means to you, so whatever you decide, I will back your play. 